What does it look like? John, second quarter earnings are in for NVIDIA. 68 cents adjusted versus the estimate of 64 cents, so a beat on its bottom line. Revenue at $30.04 billion, also higher than Wall Street consensus of $28.7 billion. We have comments here from CEO Jensen Wong in the press release. Hopper demand remains strong, and the anticipation for Blackwell is incredible. He says NVIDIA achieved record revenues as global data centers are in full throttle to modernize the entire computing stack. Uh, he goes on to say that Blackwell samples are shipping into shipping to our partners and customers. Spectrum X, Ethernet for AI, and NVIDIA AI enterprise software are two new product categories achieving significant scale. Another data point here, NVIDIA announcing a $50 billion repurchase of shares. We are watching the stock here uh, move fractionally higher in overtime. John, we'll get you the guidance in just a second. Uh, all right, we'll wait that guide. Looks like it's a little bit above, a little bit above expectations. Nicole, what do you do with it here if you feel like you missed the big move? The earnings beats are narrowing. I think that's exactly what I was watching over your shoulder as the market was trying to digest in the moment. When the earnings beats are narrowing, the, the street is less impressed on where we're headed next. And so I think until there's more clarity around movement outside of the hyperscalers, obviously ad adoption from finance, from healthcare, from the consumers, like we started to hear from Walmart. That's the next leg. And so I think the more we learn about Blackwell, what the stack's going to do, the demand for the stack, and these higher, even higher margin products, right, this next gen, next wave, that's what moves us higher. And so I wouldn't say this isn't an entry point because we believe that we are long NVIDIA for 18 plus months here. Mm. Uh, along those lines, Paul, the fact that you had revenue up 152% year over year, but perhaps more significantly, uh, revenue up 122% year over year, uh, which represents another quarter of more than doubling. I mean, it, would, it tripled in the last quarter. So it does represent a deceleration in that rate of growth. And I wonder how much that is factoring into the stock as you see these rapid moves on your screen right now, but we're, we're currently down 4%. Yeah, so I mean, I think, you know, we talked about, you know, earlier before it released, they were going to have to exceed 30 billion just to, you know, keep the market uh, somewhat level here. But to your point, they've been increasing revenues so high. Revenues have more than uh, quadrupled uh, over the last three years. That's not going to happen again over the next three years. Just, you know, just you'd have to have revenues of over 500 billion a year in order to keep that pace going. So, the pace is going to slow. And so we, we, we always hear about, oh, it's trading at a cheaper valuation now than it was a year ago. But the growth was so much stronger over the last, the last year. That pace of growth is going to slow. I'm not saying that NVIDIA is a stock that you don't want to own, but you have to reset your expectations here. That, the, the, what we've seen in the growth is going to slow down going forward. And you know, I think there's other places that where investors can look in the market outside of just these mag seven type stocks and you want to look for a broadening of the rally to areas that you know we're not talking about every day mm -hmm. that 75 analysts aren't covering and that the wall street journal and bloomberg and and cnbc aren't reporting stories about newly minted millionaires because of nvidia stock there's going to be a new new crop of stocks going forward and that's where you want to look at uh, as an investor